Hi. Hi. Uh, okay, welcome, welcome, welcome home. This is the Irish Roots Cafe, where every day is a holiday, and there's always room for one more. Hey, today we've been real lucky, lucky to uh, make contact with. This is Susan, right? Hi. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's me. We, we've got. I know we've got to do this real quick because you're about to run off to what is that? Red Rocks out there in Colorado. We're in Colorado. Yeah, we're playing in Red Rocks tonight, so uh, we're very excited. <laughs> okay, good. And you're with the the uh, Celtic Women or Woman Woman W N O M A N, and uh, we've got a lot of people interested in family history here. <clears throat> Could you just give us a, a minute or two of? Uh, family names in your family and where you came from and uh, how were you born into uh, the Irish heritage or how you got interested in the singing? Yeah, well, it's, yeah, you're very interested in your heritage over here. The only thing I know is that, well, I'm 100% Irish, obviously. Um, I know my, my name, McFadden, actually comes from Scotland. Yes. So I have some Scottish heritage somewhere there. Never really looked into it, to be honest, but uh, I know there's a little bit of Scottish in there. Um, and uh, yeah, and like you're saying, you know, singing and music, it's very much part of our heritage in Ireland. Um, so yeah, it's, it, we're very much, it's born and bred in us from a very early age. And do you, uh, do you speak or sing in uh, Gaelga, Irish? Yeah, we we do in the show actually, and um, on, on our albums, we, we do a mixture of English and the Gaelic language. Um, one of our girls, Ava McMahon, who uh, she's one of the lead singers, is fluent in Irish. So she's a great help um, because we wouldn't have studied it probably since school. So going, that's a long time back for me. Yes. Yeah, anyway, um, so you get a bit rusty not speaking it all the time. Um, but it's lovely. It's really nice to, to get to do it and to sing and perform in our in our Gaelic language. It's uh, it's lovely to be able to bring it alive again. Do you get to sing? Uh, do you uh, yourself sing in like Oro Shea de Vahawalia or Ben Fajin? <laughs> We all sing in our show, the Bahawalia, Van Fajin. Uh, we have a song in our new show, Voices of Angels, called McGillamar, which is part Irish, part English. Yes, it's about, it's, it's actually sort of a, you have some melancholy in it when it was written anyway. Well, you guys sing it so beautifully, it's hard to be sad. I know, yeah. <laughs> hard to find a balance. You don't want to depress people either, so you have to kind of keep, <laughs> keep it lighthearted. And, yes, and I understand. Yeah, everybody's got a show. Uh, <clears throat> so how did you get, uh, did, did you try out for the singing and then get, get roles? It seems like you're in acting too. Yeah, I started off, um, I started very young. I was four when I was, um, sent to sort of stage school. So I, I trained all the way up through, um, sort of my childhood and adolescence and I kind of fell into it then as I was older, but I, I've always performed in musical theater. So then when I joined Celtic Woman, it was a, a bit of a departure for me because, I'd always been acting and, and sort of playing character. As a Celtic woman, it was the first time I just had to sing and be myself. Um, so it was a bit different for me. Now, and how long have you been with Celtic women? Um, I joined in 2012, so five years now, just a bit over. So now, are you surviving well? Yeah, uh, we're, we're actually coming to the end of our our full black hole today so <laughs> yeah we're sort of, we're at that point now we're all a little bit tired but we, we're still loving it and you know we're very much looking forward to coming to Kansas City and still got a few good places left to, to perform so we're still looking forward to a few there. I mean I'm looking at your schedule Des Moines Green Bay Rochester Minneapolis Kansas City Springfield St. Louis uh, Lansing yeah. Vienna Virginia so you've got quite a bit I can imagine how you living out of a suitcase you might not know what town you were in each night Oh, yeah. And it's funny, I got asked the other day in an interview as well, you know, what do you remember? I can't even remember what the place was. They're like, what do you remember about being here before? And I was like, God. Um, Which place? And I, I, it is the same. You don't remember until you get there. And then as soon as you get there, you're like, oh, I vividly remember this place. And I know yes. that. So it's not until you get there. But yeah, we. it is difficult to keep track when you're in a different place every day. <laughs> do you have a favorite song? Um, I have a few favorite songs. We we perform in this new show, um, My Heart Will Go On, and I'm a huge Celine Dion fan. So uh, I love uh, I love performing that every night. So it's probably my favorite in this show. Yes, good, good. Uh, uh, um, yeah, you'll be in Kansas City on actually, was that the 14th? No, I can't. Oh yeah, June 14th. So that's not that's just a little over a week away. Uh, so in all these in all yeah. these other places, so people listen in from across the states. So there's a good chance they're going to be close to you, so you'd be better get out there and take a look. Uh, any more thoughts about becoming thrust into the top of the musical charts 
uh, the Bill Bro the Billboard albums being number one in the world. <laughs> Has it changed anything? No, well, we've been very lucky that I think every album that Celtic Woman has um, released has gone to number one on the world music billboard charts. Um, that means, it, does that mean you're spoiled? Yeah, so we'll be worried now if it doesn't go to number one. <laughs> but uh, 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 no, it's it's a real honour, you know, it's great to be uh, four Irish women sort of standing up doing it for the Irish. So uh, yeah, it's an incredible honour when we, when we get that news. Okay, and then... Uh... After you sing and it's all done, of course you don't have much time to have fun. But if you was if you were back home, what would you be doing for for relaxation? Um, well, I just love because we're on tour and we're living on a tour bus and in hotels. You don't get to do like a lot of cooking or anything. So I love cooking when I'm at home, and I just love being in my house. I don't like to go anywhere. I just want to be at home with my dog and cook and sit in my garden and so just just be at home really oh you're you know, ready i can everything as we do that all the time on tour so i just want to be at home i can tell you're ready that's why i am after about 14 days in ireland if i'm traveling or leading the group or what have you it's like okay i'm ready this is great but i need i need my things that i know like, very oh, well yeah, absolutely yeah uh, um, uh anything else you got in the way of hobbies um i let me see i like cycling myself yeah. and my fiance love cycling actually we have bikes on the road with us we have these little they're called citizen bikes and they like fold up so we fold them up and they go into the bay and the, with all the, the suitcases yeah and then yeah. when we get to town, we take them out we put them up and we go off exploring so we do that at home as well but yeah a lot of it on the tour a lot of cycling do you have home base in dublin when you cycle or do you go to the coast or I live near the coast, so yeah, I like to cycle along the seafront. Um, my parents actually live in uh, near Clontarf in Dublin. It's a seaside area, and there's a really long cycle, and you can cycle from all along the coast from Clontarf to a beautiful place called Hoth. Yes, and, uh, I've I've stayed near Hoth. Yeah, yeah. I, do, have you found any Viking uh, things sticking out of the ground as you pedal along? No. <laughs> <laughs> Clontarf was a big battle, but it was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was no. probably further away. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Good. Well, anything, uh, anything else you have to say about the tour or uh, singing with your your friends? No, just well, we're having a great time. We're really. This has been probably one of the best tours I've been here now. This is my sixth time to do the spring tour in the states, and this tour in particular, we've really enjoyed it, and we've played some brilliant venues, and we're really looking forward to, like I said, coming to Kansas. And actually, I love Kansas City because there's a great pub there called McFadden's. Yes. Yes. And, and so of course I've, you would be inter interested in that. <laughs> my namesake. So I'm looking forward to get, I'm going to go there, I think, after the show and have a have a pint. <laughs> oh, great. Now you just crowded. You sold them out already. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, uh, I know yeah. you've, got, you've got to run, so I don't want to hold you up. It takes a little while to get ready for these things. But we've enjoyed talking to bit. you. And this is Susan McFadden yes. uh, out of Dublin. With some yep. Scots Irish heritage and probably some other names mixed in there too that we don't know about yet, uh, and I may see you when you're in KC. I'm not sure yet. They said I might be able to interview uh, the group after or before, or however yeah, that that works. I'm going to McFadden's after, so you have to come and see us before. <laughs> That's a deal. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, great. Uh, my best to you and uh, the gentleman who helped get us online and get all the no, cameras no. working. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you very much. much. To talk to you. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Thank <laughs> you.